properly dispose of industrial waste. Part 2. Where and how to dispose of industrial waste. Hello again. I am Mr. SD, or Sustainable Development, the guru of industrial waste management. And of course, here I am for the second time. This time we will get to know where industrial waste goes. The first and crucial spot on a route is a factory that produces industrial waste. We call it WG, which is the factory itself that generates such waste. Each time waste is generated, it is the factory's duty to dispose of this waste as according to the law. And then report the process of waste disposal by getting the permission to treat or dispose of it from the Department of Industrial Works. In the procedure of dealing with the waste, WG can either handle the process on their own or let other waste management contractors take care of it. And if they do so, there should be a process of waste transportation, which we call WT, who will pick up the waste from WG and transport it to the waste processor, or WP. In short, the process of disposing of the industrial waste involves three parties, which are 1. The factory that generates waste, or WG. 2. The waste transporter, or WT. 3. The factory that treats, disposes of, or recycles waste, so-called waste processor, or WP. Now we know about where to dispose of industrial waste. Next, we will find out the way we could treat this waste. So let's begin with the first method. Recycling. This is the most preferable and environmentally friendly method. There are many ways to recycle waste, including 1. Recycling is raw material substitute. For instance, use spent foundry sand as an ingredient for producing cement powder. 2. Recycling is fuel substitute. Oil stained gloves or absorbents can be recycled as fuel. 'll reusing them would still generate industrial waste. When recycling, there might be residues that are left behind that still need to be managed properly. Treatment. There are several ways to treat industrial waste, including 1. Biological treatment. For example, food scraps and fruit seeds can be turned into organic fertilizer. 2. Chemical treatment. For instance, chemical waste could be treated with another type of chemical in order to reduce toxicity. 3. Physical treatment. By using screens to separate feathers or other residues and concrete debris from factory as fine and coarse aggregates. Demolition waste can be recycled and used again by grinding it into smaller sizes. Final process. There are two alternatives in the final process of waste disposal which are incineration and landfill. Incineration can be used on combustible waste such as paper, oil sludge and plastics. Once these wastes are burned, what are left will be ashes which need to be taken to the landfill. For the landfill, we need to take into account the operating procedures of landfill structures which are A. The lining system to contain leachate or contaminated liquid which is formed inside the landfill and to prevent any leakage from happening. B. The leachate collection system to take leachate out of the landfill for further treatment. C. The gas collection system to ventilate and prevent accumulation of dangerous gases inside the landfill. D. The groundwater monitoring system. Oh, don't forget, you cannot put liquid wastes, oil, and liquid hydrocarbons into landfills. By the way, whether or not we use any of these disposal methods, we should consider the concept of 3R, which is not only good for our Earth, but greatly helps in decreasing costs and increasing the profits too. All of these waste disposal methods that I have mentioned could be done by WG themselves, in which they need to be properly managed, or the waste could be transported to WP to be taken care of. 
But no matter who takes care of waste disposal, these processes have to comply with laws and regulations. That is, the request for the permission as according to the waste management process is required. But what are these regulations and processes? Please stay tuned for part three.